Hello folks and welcome to the on-water performance test of the Serene Life Free Flow. So I've used this board once before and by the way we're on the Nicomeco River in Surrey, British Columbia and yeah I was, I was actually very surprised at how steady it was so I'll kind of walk you through how it feels right now the wind is kind of pushing me a little bit so hence why i'm kind of floating without barely any effort all right so this will be the standing portion of our video let's get a tiny bit of momentum if you're a beginner and you just got this board and you're kind of nervous about standing up what i would say first thing to do is get a little bit of momentum while you paddle it's a little bit like riding a bicycle in the sense that you have the, mo the momentum you basically are it's a little bit easier to stand as opposed to if you're just in one place so let's get to it go, go. standing so what all the impressions are feels pretty stable actually I'm also surprised that this is a 30 inch board and it has that stable feeling. Like if I do this, no problems at all. So we'll just do a bit of paddling. Feels pretty good so far. So now we're gonna try paddling quick. Before I do that, I do just wanna talk a little bit about the paddle. So the paddle is made of aluminum. Shaft is made of hard plastic. I think it may be ABS, but I'm not entirely sure. They don't really specify on the website at this time. And Paddled like, it's not half bad. I do like the little scoop that it has. So whenever you paddle, you can scoop a little bit of water, gives you a little bit of momentum. But one drawback I will say is that the weight of it is a bit heavier. Like this definitely feels like a heavier paddle for sure. Um, you could definitely feel the aluminum. The big difference between the aluminum and something a little bit lighter like carbon fiber or carbon fiber composite. So now we are going to maneuver away from rocks that are close by. And then we're going to paddle fast and see how this thing can go here. So let's go. Always be wary of things below. So we're past the rocks now, so we can get some momentum. The tracking is actually pretty impressive on this board, I must say. It's not really wiggling around too much, which is nice. I will notice though that the speed it's definitely a bit lacking because you can tell it's kind of planing right at the front here. Next, we're going to do the maneuverability of this board. So we'll start with little slight paddles like this. Try to turn. Yeah, the board definitely gives off a pretty steady feeling um, compared to other boards as price range or around its price range. When I do this, it's definitely more steady than the tower. Yachtsman. Oh, Adventure 2. All the same thing. Then we're going to do a sweep stroke. It's like this. I just do that. Yep. Still feels... It's a little bit... Kickback, I kind of feel like I have to kind of adjust a little bit, but it's not half bad pretty good um this is definitely 
a board for beginners for sure. Um, stability wise, if that's all you're interested in is yoga, stability, just casual paddling for like an hour or a couple hours, this is definitely a good board to get. There's six colors as well. Just FYI, this pink color is my friend's, who's a girl. Shout out to Carl. <laughs> but yeah, there are six other colors. Yeah, just paddles pretty nice. Again, you're not gonna win any races with this board whatsoever. The nose planes into the water quite a bit, which causes a bit of drag. But I mean, you know, it's pleasant to paddle. It doesn't feel like too much of a hog in the water. I mean, if speed is not what you're looking for, just primary stability, you wanna have that secure feeling on the board. This is definitely a good budget board to get. And yeah, actually initially when I first tried it, I was actually very surprised at how stable it was. It actually felt more stable than some other expensive boards I've tried. So, which actually kind of shocked me. So this board is actually really good value for the money. The accessories you get, etc. Stability, you can see. No problems here. Even if I lean a bit, I can lean. It's no problem whatsoever, not falling in. Lean the other way. Pretty good. Show you what it's like to kind of turn around this board whenever you're going forward. You can do a sweep stroke like so. Pretty stable feeling, I must say. Then paddling against the water. So the tide is kind of coming out of it. So I am battling a little bit, but the board's profile isn't slowing me down too, too much. For the Nicomeco River, this is actually pretty um, lax in terms of the movement of the tide. It can get pretty harsh here if you go at the wrong times. So anyone that lives along coastal rivers, definitely something to consider. Look at your tide tables, etc. So the final impressions of paddling this board for, you know, about 10 minutes now, 10, 15 minutes. Um, stability, it gets top marks, especially for a board of its price range. Absolutely great stable feeling. Um, feels like it's a bigger board than it actually is when you paddle it, which is pretty interesting. In ter just in terms of stability. On water performance, the speed, well, again, you're not gonna win any races with this, but it does an ample job. One thing I did also notice when I'm paddling right now is that this, handle you can kind of twist it a bit and it moves which i don't really like whenever i have a paddle i want the handle to be firmly in place i don't want it to be moving around whenever i'm paddling so hopefully they make improvements to that could always just try to tighten this guy as well right here but yeah overall thumbs up for this board on water performance won't be disappointed in terms of just stability um i'll have to get some yoga peeps out here on this board to try it out tell me what they think about it but in the meantime thanks for watching